Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of larger multiplication, which includes 2x2 two two and 3x1 multiplication. This is standard 4.4D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 4 off the 2017 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we've got 27 teams in a hockey league, and there are 16 players on each team. So how many players are in the hockey league? Well, if we draw a very simple strip diagram, we can see what type of problem we have here. So our total is up top. We've got 27 teams, so I can draw 27 of these little things. I'm not really going to. I'm just going to say there's 27 of them, and every single one of them have 16 players. So I can skip count by 16s 27 times, or I can simply do 27 times 16, or we can do 16 times 27. Remember, the commutative property lets us do either one. So let me see if I can break this down by place value. This 27 is really a 20 plus 7. And I'm going to do it like this because I want you to be able to see how we multiply. I'm going to use partial products first. So let's just kind of get rid of those right there. So really the 16 is the 10 plus 6, and the 27 is the 20 plus 7. So let me start. I will start with 27 times 16. Let's just go and do it in that order here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the 6. I'm going to multiply it by the 7 and by the 20. So I'm going to multiply the 6 by the 7 and the 20. Now I'm going to write down each product. So 7 times 6 is 42. Now, this 2 right here is actually a 20 because it's sitting in the tens place. So it's 6 times 20. So let's see. I've got 20 times 6. So you multiply the non-zeros. That's 12. Add that 0. You've got 120. So 6 times 27 is really 6 times 7 plus 6 times 20. And that's that 42 and 120. Now I'm going to go to this 1 in the 16. You always multiply from the bottom up, but that 1 is really a 10. And I'm going to multiply this 10 by 7, and then the 10 by the 20. So 10 by 7, that's pretty easy. That's 70. And then 10 times 20, let's see. Multiply your non-zeros. 2 times 1 is 2. Add the two zeros, and you've got your 200. So now I've got four partial products here. And if we just add them up, I've got 2. 4 and 2 is 6. Add the 7 is 13. And then I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 432, which is looking like H. Now, that's how we do it with partial products using the distributive property. How do we do it with what we call the standard algorithm? Well, let me do that right over here. 27 times 16. If you get really bored, you could flip it, do 16 times 27. You'll get the same answer. So we start with the ones place in the bottom number, and we just multiply up. So 7 times 6 right there, that's going to be 42. But we only put the ones place there. The tens place, the 40, so there's my 42, 4 plus 2. I'm going to put that over in the tens place, and I'm going to keep multiplying. Now I'm going to do my 6 times my 2, so that's 12. And really it's 120, but I'm fine with that because I'm going to go ahead and put it in this, start with the tens place because I know it's in the tens place. So I've got my 120, plus I need to add this 40. So I'm going to do 16 to represent 160. 6 times 2 is 12, add the 4 is 16. And that's what I have right here is my 162. Get rid of that. Put a 0 here because we're dealing with this 1, which is in the tens place. 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 2 is 2, but really it's 270. And that's what I have right here with those two. And then you simply add those up. And you're going to get the exact same answer, 432. Either one works. One is called the standard algorithm right here. And then one is called partial products right here. They both get the same answer of H, 432.